Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be showing you how to achieve the image hover effect for your Go High Level website. Also, I will be sharing the code with you so you can do it yourself. So what we, today the website I will be working with is the remove list. What we want to do is that to open this, preview this website and once I hover my mouse over these images, these are not reacting. As you can see, and let's say come back here, what we can do is that open this in a new tab because we want to edit the CSS code to achieve the image hover effect. And to do that, we need to select the image we want to work with. Let's say in my case, I will be showing you for one image and then how you can do for all the images. Let's say I want to do this for this image. Select this image, go to advanced, come down here, select this is a CSS selector. This is the reference point for this image similarly all these images have a separate reference point for now we're gonna select this reference point since i have already code written in this doc here and as you can see this is the code for that image if if you want to do this for your website you can just simply change this code and it should it should work for your website i'm gonna copy this code come back here open css write this code here hit save and as you can see whenever i hover my mouse over this image is now it is reacting so what if we want to do this for all the all the images there are two ways very first one is that you can you can simply come to each of the image go to advanced section and 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 copy the css selector code the reference point that i earlier mentioned for each of the image and you can write down here this is the code i have written for that so i'm going to select this one and similarly if you have a multiple images you can simply replace this reference point with your images that you have for your website and the second way that you can do that is you can just go to the image and advance and as you can see, it says custom class. So you can write down your own, you can give it a name, whatever you want for, and give the one name for all the images. And then you can use only one name for all the images to do this, to achieve the result that we want. For now, I since I have selected the reference point separately for each of the images, and that's what I will be doing. So if we come here, write down the code as you can see this is a separate separate reference point for each of the image and so if we hit save as you can see now it is ready to go and hit publish and once we come back here open this website in a new tab and now it is ready so I hope guys you like this video and please hit subscribe and hit the like button so you can see similar videos in the future.